I am the administrative assistant for the director of inpatient for Dublin Methodist and Grady Memorial Hospital, and I have been with Ohio Health for six years. So in 2012, my daughter was born. Uh, she was born in April, and my nurse, the day after she was born, was doing a, an assessment on me and just kind of asked, did you know you had an irregular heartbeat? At that point, I was so excited to have a kid, I didn't, I was like, oh, no, I didn't didn't know. I had a telepack put on me. From there, they monitored and they said, we'll give you about six months or so to see if your body will adjust from being pregnant, um, but make sure you follow up with your cardiologist. And with the baby, you don't think about it. So unfortunately, I did not. On um, a weekend, I got a phone call from Dr. Maida a Sunday afternoon, and he said, you know, he didn't follow up, what's going on? And I was like, oh, I just didn't think about it. I have a baby at home, I'm a busy mom. And he said, well, I think you need to come in. My husband and I went in, sat in the office, and well, let me show you what your heart's doing. And he draws me a beautiful picture <laughs> right then and there on that hospital bed. And he's like, so what do you think we need to do about this? And of course, I'm 25 years old. I'm like, I'm gonna be on medicine for the rest of my life. And he's like, I don't think that's gonna help us at the moment. Uh, your mitral valve is only working 30% so we need to go in and repair it. And I wasn't quite sure what that meant in the moment, so kind of just quiet moment for a while. I think it lasted two seconds. I felt like it lasted an hour. Um, and he said, I think we need to go into open heart. I said, well, what if you wouldn't have called me? Because I would, had no plan whatsoever to um, have a follow-up. He said, one day you're gonna get tired. So tired that you wanna take a nap and that would be it. So to finally hold my baby was six weeks after. It was amazing, I sat in my chair and my family put a pillow here and she laid across and I got to feed her. Um, that was about six months, but it, I mean, I look at that picture all the time, I share that picture all the time. I was always very hesitant about showing off my zipper scar, as people call it. Um, but I get stopped in the elevators, and I get stopped in the hallways, and questions are asked, and, and I'm all right with that because I want people to know that this is what comes out of open heart. It makes you stronger. 